Something that's been bugging me for quite some time. This door. I mean, it works fine. Right. This handle never fit right. It'll only fit right there. It won't close all the way, and it won't open all the way. So this handle is okay. The problem lies here. This bolt is not centered in the plate. You can see that it's almost like just close, but not close enough. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to cut this old bolt off. The threads are all whapped out. I can't screw anything onto it. So I'm going to take my cutoff tool and I'm going to cut this off. And I have a brand new bolt here that I'm going to weld to this in the center of this hole and double nut it. So that's what we're up to right now. So let's get started. Alright, now we'll get our grinder out. We'll grind that all off good. And weld a new bolt on. that work just like that. get the nut back out and clean the threads up if I need to get it off but that's going to be a little too long so I'm going to cut that off.
And like I say, if I ever need to get this off, I can just unscrew these nuts and it'll, it'll thread itself back out. That way I can still take the arm off if I need to, to fix anything that happens over here. That's perfect. Nice job. The last piece of the puzzle for these dump truck lights is this I've made as a weld on on the back to hold my track lights. I remember in a video quite some time ago, um, I was around there looking at that with you guys when I first got the dump truck. I think it was on the new dump truck video. And this, right where the lights were, is all kind of rusted out around me. So I made this piece, it's four feet long, seven and five eighths wide, and it's gonna weld right onto and over the other piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pop the lights out and cut out where the lights are, cut out all the rust there, and then clean all that up, mount my lights in this piece, and this piece is gonna get welded across the back of the truck. So right now, I've got these all cleaned up. I've got these pieces V'd because I have to make this weld here and I'm going to make it seamless because I didn't have enough to go four feet with one piece. This is 30 inches wide so I had to add this piece on. So we have to weld this together on both sides and make it seamless. So let's get this welded. I had to change out a roll of wire before I could even start. I've got my center hole cut here. This fits in it perfect, nice and snug, just the way I wanted it. That fits in the end one fine. Looks good. Let's see what we got here. Yep, fits there too. All my lights are going to fit fine. Quick measurement here and make sure I'm centered. I'm positive. Everything's right. Eight to eight. Eight to eight. Yep. Okay, I'm finally going to be able to put this plate on that I made there. And we're going to weld it to the back of the truck. You can see how bad these were. Where these lights were so we're going to put a whole new plate on here i've got to clean this up and uh, weld it on first thing i needed to do is basically line that up where i wanted it and clamp it so i can mark it where i have to grind everything off so that's what i'm going to do next all right take that back off and grind that all off so i can weld While I have this off, I'm going to cut these 
right across here with my cutoff tool and just take these right out. Broke my own rule. No hearing protection. Gotta have it. Inside the bed, outside the bed, all of it. When the weather gets a little better, and I can do it outside. But for now, to cover my welds, I'm just going to use this black part. Okay, all the lights are working. Done with this project. The next thing we have to do is I have the gate hanging on the L. We have to put it back on the dump and then we're done. is done you can see my lights are visible underneath the gate everything looks great so if you like what I do like and subscribe